Um, so we're going to move on to the main event. I'm nervous and I don't know why. I already know who the people are. So you guys should be nervous, not me. But here we are. So the short list um, includes our honorable mentions. So I'm going to say what they've won first, and then I'm going to call out their names. So the honorable mentions are going to receive cash from um, Deborah Thomas, who is a, was our 2011 winner and was a judge this year. And a very exacting judge, I must say, because she challenged us. Like we came to the table with each of our own rankings and stuff, and she pushed back hard for the stories that she believed in. So I think, Deborah, it means that you're going to have to be a judge going forward because you are very serious about the task. Um, so oh, um, we have um, cash from Devra. We have gift certificates from Rotary Club of Antigua. The Rotary Club of Antigua gift was so substantive, we were able to spread it out across several categories. Um, and gift certificate from Jeunesse Webson, again, an Antiguan living abroad who gives back every year, one of our longtime patrons. Um, again, her gift size really enough for us to spread across several categories. And the shortlisted writers for the main prize are Jason Gilliard, who you just met, the great old wood slave, Chinico Graves, Juxtapose Reprieve, Razanik Luby, Vixen, and last year's winner, Andre Warner, the Brave. These are our honorable mentions. I want to say it was a very, there were 72 entries this year, it was very competitive. So every story and every poem that's mentioned is significant, is we battled back and forth about who to give what because they were so good. So big up to all of those shortlisted writers, Andre Warner, Razanik Luby, Chinik Greaves, and Jason Gilliard. Do any, um, do any of you want to say anything before we move on? You can unmute if you do. Going once, going twice. Okay. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say something. Um, thank you um, for the opportunity to enter anything I've written into that competition and be like recognized for it in any capacity. And I'm like, really grateful that you decided to give back in this way especially to young people, because they're not really super a lot of um, opportunities for like Caribbean writers, especially to enter lot, sorry, short form fiction for recognition. And I, I think I do much better in short than anything. So I'm really appreciative of that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Razanik. And if I'm not mistaken, Razanik is only 15, am I correct? That would be correct, yes. After the fact, when we were able to match the names to the, the winners, we were kind of blown away by that because Razanik's story is one that stood out. So cool beans. We're very happy that we were able to encourage all of these writers. And now we move on to the top three. The third placed writer will receive $250 contributed by Daryl George, who is a past um, winner books from HarperCollins UK, and I should mention that these books are from the Big Cat series, Caribbean titles, um, like The Jungle Outside, um, Turtle Beach, um, Turtles, and um, Finny the Fairy Fish by Diana McCauley, who is also here with us. So um, Turtle Beach by Barbara Arendelle, The Jungle Outside by Joanne Hillhouse, and Turtles by Carol Mitchell, and Finny the Fairy Fish by Diana McCauley. And also books from Sekou Luke, and from Barbara Arendelle, and of course, gifts from Rotary Club of Antigua, including a Kindle and Kindle Carrier, $100 gift certificate, pen set, journal, and dictionary. And that goes to the author of the poem, The Beach, Angelique Liddy. Big up Angelique, Angelique is only 13, by the way. So we'll move on to the second place author. The second place author will receive $300 contributed by Rillis Adams. Um, access, Rillis Adams also, by the way, is one of our past finalists and has gone on to be a very prolific and um, award-winning writer. Um, I'm forgetting, I'm, I'm, if Rillis is here, I apologize. I'm forgetting the name of the recent prize that she won, but she's also been shortlisted for a number of prizes in the romance fiction genre. Um, 
Bocas workshop access, um, books from Second Loop, and gifts from Rotary. And that person is the author of, I'm going to mess up this, Hirath, it's H-I-R-A-E-T-H, and the author is Ashley Whitney Joshua. My story, it, I didn't have much in inspiration. I just sat at my computer and I just started to write and the story just came. I had, I had been to Canada recently, so I just used my experience of the place and I added it in, into the story in terms of location and how the people, how I, what my experiences were with the people and such. And th that's pretty much it. I didn't really, I don't, I didn't really have much of an inspiration part of it. I just started writing and the story came about. Congratulations. I would say that inspiration is all around. It's clear that you found some inspiration because sometimes the best writing happens when you can just sit down and just write. So congratulations again, Ashley. Thank you. All right. All right. And now we're going to move on to the main prize winner. I also want to mention that we are donating some of the books gifted to us by HarperCollins to the Cushion Club and some to the Public Library of Antigua and Barbuda. I'm especially keen to donate the, um, these books because these, are the, the, these books are by Caribbean writers and illustrators, and I want as many young people in Antigua and Barbuda to have access to them as possible, and that's why we decided to make these gifts. So those will be gifted to the Cushion Club, which is a reading club for children, and of course, the Public Library of Antigua and Barbuda, which is accessible to all. And so we come to the main prize. The main prize recipient will receive books by HarperCollins, by Seku Luke, and also a pass as a Friends of Bocas Lit Fest. Now this means that you don't just get access to a workshop, but to a wide range of um, Bocas initiatives. I don't know if anyone from Bocas is here. If you are, you could explain a little bit about that, but if not, We'll move on. But it's a whole wide range of focus initiatives and you have friends access for, I believe, a year. So I hope you take full advantage of that. You also get um, $520 worth of books. A gift certificate is available for you, sponsored by Olive Senior, who, as of this year, is the Poet Laureate of Jamaica. Um, Olive is one of my, my, my mentors and she, she was one of the first people to volunteer and say, um, I want to give something to Madadley Penn this year, and so that's that. And of course, our long, long, long time sponsor, Frank B. Armstrong, will be once again gifting $500, and that will go to the main prize winner. And the name of the main prize winner will be put onto the Alstein Allen Memorial Plaque. The Alstein Allen Memorial Plaque is, learned, is named for one of our founding partners who is no longer with us and who is a very good friend of mine. Um, and so every winner from 2004 to present bears her name. That plaque, the, the, the plaque bears her name. Their name is now on that plaque. And the winner is the author of Mildred Inneasy. <laughs> Kevin <Liddy. laughs> um, So I don't know if Kevin is with us. Um, Kevin, I should point out, is the father of Angelique. So we have a father daughter. I'm here. For the first time. And I would like Kevin to talk a little bit about how he feels about being in the top three with his daughter. I feel absolutely elated. Um, this is my first writing competition I've ever written in. And I'm, I'm just joyful. I'm just grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin.